Hi guys, today we're going to be making German apple pancakes and this is not really a bunch of pancakes, it's one pancake and it's going to be baked in the oven. So it's a bit different style of pancakes than you're probably used to. Um, in a medium to large bowl, I have one cup of all-purpose flour and to that I'm going to add one tablespoon of granulated sugar and in here I have half a teaspoon of baking powder and one eighth of teaspoon of salt. So get that in there. Eventually. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna just whisk this together. And to the next thing we're going to add another bowl. In a smaller bowl, we're going to add six eggs. All right, and we're going to add one cup of regular milk, whole milk. I'm going to whisk that together. And now we're going to add the egg mixture to the flour mixture, and we're going to go ahead and mix this with a handheld mixer for a couple minutes here. Or just till it's blended really well. And you could use a, a, a blender. You could actually put this in a blender and do it if you wanted to. Okay, so now we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we're going to add two tablespoons of unsalted melted butter. And just whisk this in together, mix it up with a, a whisk instead of the mixer. You can use the mixer. I just grabbed this. Alrighty. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to set this aside. And we're going to let it sit there for about 30 minutes. And while it's doing that, I have preheated the oven to 425, or I am preheating the oven to 425 right now. And I have two apples here. I have a gala. You want baking apples. I just chose the gala. I am going to core them and peel them and then slice them. All right, so we're gonna melt in a cast iron pan over medium low heat. We're gonna melt one fourth cup of unsalted butter. And you want butter on the sides of the pan too. So I'm just gonna use a basting brush to do this. I'm just gonna go over the sides of the pan with the butter.
right, that should be good, but I'm going to go ahead and finish melting the butter first before I continue on. And if you don't have a basting brush and you want to get it on the side of the pan, one thing I could suggest is to use a paper towel and get it going on the sides, but you want to, you don't want to absorb too much of the butter while you're doing that and take away from that. Okay, so in a small bowl, I've mixed together um, half a cup of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, and one eighth teaspoon of clove. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sprinkle this over the butter. I'm going to turn up the heat um, to medium high now. I'm just kind of stirring it around a bit. I want it to um, start melting and getting a little bit more bubbly. So that will take a couple minutes here. Okay, so the sugar's kind of melted down some and I see little bubbles forming in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to fill this up with the slices of apples. And I want to cover the whole pan with apples. I don't wanna have a bunch of big gaps or, you know, I want it to be covered evenly pretty much. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. Okay, so I've got that filled up and I'm going to go ahead and pour my batter over this. So I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to bake it for 15 minutes and then we're going to reduce the temperature. Okay, so now I'm going to reduce it to 375 and we're going to bake it for 10 more minutes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to slide this out. Okay, so there you have my German apple pancakes. You could use some powdered sugar on top of it, sprinkle it over it, or even serve it with some maple syrup. And I hope you guys enjoy. Please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys for watching.